right, welcome back to another episode of Stitch Method Guitar Fundamentals. Before we begin, please make sure you share and subscribe because I love sharing my knowledge of teaching and guitar with anyone who wants to hear it. Now, with that being said, let's get down to it. You know your ingredients, you can play chords, you can play scales, but you still sound like crud. And what is the reason behind that? And it's actually a very simple uh, answer, but it takes a lot of practice. And the answer is dynamics. If you're not playing with dynamics or understand how to create dynamics on either electric or acoustic, uh, you're gonna sound the same and uh, like all the time when you play. You're not gonna have any sort of uh, uh, emotion or smoothness to your playing. And so let me give you an example of uh, what I mean. So if I were playing um, House of the Rising Sun, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna play it without dynamics first. Okay, sounds okay, but now with dynamics. Hopefully you could hear a difference. One sounded kind of flat and one sounded kind of alive. And so the way that we work on dynamics is actually with your picking hand. Now you can do this with a pick or you can do it with finger picking. I'll show you both. But the idea is, is when you're holding a pick, the pick has several jobs. You gotta, you know, find the string, uh, you gotta play in rhythm. Uh, but the idea of dynamics is really important. And the way that you practice dynamics is with the amount of pressure you actually squeeze on your pick. Now I'm being very, very like overly uh, powerful here, but when you're plucking, normally you, you have a, a regular grip on this pick and you're just kind of playing and you rely on your normal, pick hold, but when you want to emphasize something, then you want to squeeze the pick gently a little bit harder. What that does is it forces the pick, you clamp the pick a little bit more close, and it sends more energy into the string. It's not going to move as much. And so you can hear it. Now, here again is House of the Rising Sun without the dynamics. I'm not going to change anything about my pick pressure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to accent the one, the one, two, and three, four. I'm going to uh, accent the one and the four. And so it sounds like this. One, two, and three, four, five, six. Hopefully you can hear the difference. On the one, there's a little bit of an extra boom on that string. On the four, a little bit of extra pluck. Now this is dynamics. If you have heard Jimmy Page talk about dynamics, he, he says how important it is. And you can hear it all over his playing. If you take the intro to Over the Hills and Far Away, the, you know, the first little series of notes. That whole thing, there's a, there's a, 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 a dynamic push on that pick on, right at the beginning. This open G, again, and right before this pull off, there's a little bit of an extra uh, pick up, um, push or squeeze on the string. And squeezing this pick is going to help you get a dynamic feeling on the guitar. And so you want to practice playing several things and squeezing the pick when you feel downbeats, when you feel that you have to have this music kind of like go up and down in the swell. And so one of the uh, exercises that I would say is, hope you like Pink Floyd, we'll play a quick Pink Floyd song. I'm gonna do it on acoustic, even though it's electric and you can do it on electric if you want, is the song Run Like Hell um, has this beginning where you're, you're on the D string kind of just bum, 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 right? And then you can get these. These chords, and I'll show you the whole thing. On these chords, uh, you want to squeeze your pick a little bit heavier and get a dynamic swell. You don't want to be like this. There's a difference. I don't know if you can hear it. Like, that's the same pick. Now again, here is where I'm squeezing the pick a little bit harder with dynamics. And you can 
here on those chords, I'm squeezing the pick, all right? And so you wanna be able to be conscious of when you need a dynamic push with your pick. And you know, between Led Zeppelin, like, you can hear them, listen for them. All those little punches are the squeeze of the pick. Now, how would you do this with finger picking? Well, with finger picking, you're just gonna grab the string a little bit harder and firmer, and, and you're going to, instead of just use the, uh, the, the pads of your fingers, if you wanna get a little bit more volume, you're just gonna sink your finger a little bit deeper into the string set, so you grab a little bit more. The song that I always teach for this with my students, and I've taught several students this, is a song by Harry Nilsson, uh, the coconut song, where you play a C7, and I guess I'm gonna show you how to play it, but the idea is it's a C7 with this alternating bass line. And let me play it for you first. I'll play it with the dynamics. Lime in the coconut, right? And you can hear that I'm definitely plucking firmly, or more harder, on the first beat. The second and then third beat, not so much. And then this this bass note here, definitely a dynamic put, uh, pluck there. Excuse me. There it is, there. So you can do this with finger picking. And you wanna practice, here it is without dynamics. It's kind of like flat, but now when you push in the right moments, and you pluck and a little bit firmer on the right beats, you can hear the dynamics. So you want to take whatever you're practicing right now, whether it's on electric, whether it's on acoustic, and you want to practice squeezing that pick when you want dynamics. Now, I will do another video on dynamics um, on the electric guitar separately at some time, but right now, just to practice the art form of getting more out of your guitar with these kind of volume swells and poignant notes, it takes you squeezing the pick a little bit harder and accenting them. You can hear it all over your favorite music. I mean, every song you play is going to have it. You know, a couple weeks ago, uh, I taught this lesson, you know, and, and this very famous bluegrass ending. And there, you know, there's a pluck, there's a dynamic squeeze, boom, and a squeeze here. Definitely here, and a squeeze, and a squeeze. You're not going... No, you're... So you're trying to accent these moments throughout your song with a little extra push of that pick or a little extra grab with your fingers. And so go practice whatever you are practicing and start putting dynamics in it. You're gonna have to close your eyes and feel it out and play a little bit and you'll start to hear it come alive, but you wanna practice this technique. I hope this made sense for a guitar fundamental series. Please enjoy and share this with anyone who you see fit. And uh, I will see you next uh, Tuesday with a regular Stitch Method video and then next Thursday with a guitar fundamentals. Thanks for being here. We'll talk soon, bye-bye.